Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's going on people? Right now, sitting up in the port right now. Down here in Bay on New Jersey. Just, I ain't gonna be out here until about 7 o'clock tonight. Just don't make no sense. Man. But I just wanna get on this video and just have a little conversation with y'all. You know, first and foremost, I wanna say, you know, praying for you guys. Yeah, my oldest brother called me the other day and said he was feeling sick. So he went by and you know, went to the doctor. He said they're calling back in four days. So they ended up calling him back and told me he had the COVID-19. So I just want to tell you guys, if you watch this video, man, I love you, man. And um, I don't want to have to tell you that. I tell you all the time, but I don't want to tell you that, you know, when you ain't, you know, anything going to happen to you. I hope not, man. You know, just be strong, Gus, man. I'm praying for you, bro. So if y'all pray for my brother, Gus. Let them know y'all been thinking about it, though. Gus, if you're watching this video, man, I love you, bro. I love you, my big brother. So, you know, you're the reason why a brother like me never called nobody a big homie. Never, ever called some damn nigga, excuse my language, some damn big homie. See, I ain't got no big homies. I got older brothers. So, you know, it's my little sister Vera, my brother Chris, my brother Jay, especially you, Gus. Love you, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? So keep you in my prayers, Gus. Got y'all here, man. Anything you need, you call me. I got you, man. That's my word. You know how we do, man. Don't let family down. But um, I just want to talk to y'all, you know? Got something on my mind and shit. You know, I stand in the truck and, you know, I, I watch a lot of things. You know, and what I'm trying to, you know, what I want to touch on is this is why I call. I call it, I call some of these brothers out here that's married competing with single males or they got single male friends and they compete I call them happily married bachelors the only reason why I use that that word you know just happily married bachelors because one minute they happy married and one minute they act like they bachelors like ain't no way in hell you married and you still up there in the church or Vegas, yeah, some of y'all fools go to Vegas to get married. Y'all know y'all do that Vegas bullshit. Y'all need to cut that out. That ain't no marriage to me, but Y'all sit up there and get married. And you turn around a month later, calling the single male, asking the single male, yo, shorty got a friend? So what the fuck you get married for? That's the shit I don't understand. What's the purpose of getting married and you gotta be out there acting like a damn bachelor. Acting like a single male. I'ma tell you one thing, a married man is worse than a single male. Ah, bullshit you not. Know. I'm sitting up and driving right now, so I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. But I bullshit you not. A married man is worse than a, a single man. A single male. I don't even gotta say that shit because a lot of shit a single male won't do, a married man will do. Just to prove that he's still a damn man. Just to prove, just to prove that he still got it. Or some of them be saying, oh, I got a black book. I ain't got to give up my rights. Well, damn, nigga, you gave up your rights when you got married. And that's just the honest damn truth. You gave up your rights when you got married. You gave up all that bullshit, man. All of it. But then they sit there and get mad. You can't get mad at me. You the one got married, bro. You know, I thought getting married was a great thing. You know, I thought you were ready to settle down and, you know, call it a night. Be with this one woman for the rest of your entire life. You could have did that shit without papers, homeboy. But I don't understand that shit, man. They get around you, call you up and shit, texting. And the thing is, too, you married, you cheating, and you got one fucking phone. One phone, my nigga. One phone. Either you just dumb as shit, or you just don't know how to play the game. Got one phone when you're married. Now I'm not gonna sit up there and, and, and throw, you know, give out, you know, give out the secrets how you do the shit because I'm not trying to help you married men. But stop crying all the fucking time when you married to a single male like myself that ain't married and talking about. She complaining all the time. I remember when we got together, we was to fuck every day. 
If you got kids in the room, get them up, get them kids out the damn room because I like to speak, I like to talk. I'm gonna talk my shit. If you marry, don't come complaining to a single male that when before you got married, y'all used to fuck face every day. Y'all was having sex every day. Y'all was having sex. Now when you get married, you complaining that she she comes in the room with sweatpants on. She coming in the bed with your boxes on, your sweatpants on, and a long t-shirt. Hmm. You gotta ask yourself why she come in the room. You know? You come in there crying, man. She dressing like you, being like you, smelling like you, yo. No, don't let it roll back, man. What's wrong with you, man? Damn. Ah, excuse me for that. This fool about to roll back and hit my truck in this damn port. Yeah, but um, it's just crazy how just some married men running around here like they're happy married bastards. Well, I guess when Danes is right at home or the side piece don't want to fuck with them anymore, they go home back to their wife and they all happy and shit. One day they tell me their wife ain't shit and describing everything, every body part to a single male. This, this, is what, this is what a lot of fucking married men do. Excuse me. Married men love to talk about how the wife is giving them head, how the wife is riding them, how the wife walk around in the boy shorts, the bras, pretty much nothing. The mold she got on her butt, her breasts. Married men love to describe their wives to single males. Believe that bullshit, man. They love to describe they wife to single males. I don't know how to happen. Dudes will sit up there and tell you anything about their wife. I mean from head to toe. The color of the vagina, the vajayj, how it smell, how it tastes, how they rub it, how they fuck it, and then they then they sit around and get mad when they don't all bring another man in the house. And that's that's just some shit. That's what married men do. Married men will sit there and break down anything to a single man. And then get mad. And then get mad when you got something to say. That's the crazy part. Married men will fight a single male over a side piece. Yeah, that shit. Married men will defend a side piece before they defend their motherfucking wife. Believe that shit. As soon as he get that side piece pregnant, or as soon as he don't feel like paying the rent for the side piece, paying the car note for the side piece, taking the side piece out to eat, Financing this side piece, then they go back home and they happily married again. Come on, bro. You'd be surprised the shit that a married man would tell you. And you sit back and look like, yeah. Married men love to, they trick hard. Married men trick harder than single males. And I don't even give a fucking motherfucker say, oh, nigga, you sitting me snitching, you throwing us under the bus. Nah, bro, I'm up in age now, bro. And it's just crazy, man, how married, how married men just move out here, man. They move reckless. You know, I just thought that uh, once you get married, you just cut, you just cut the shenanigans, man. Because married men, the only reason I'm speaking on it, because married men make single men look bad. Married men make sick males that's either single or with their girl look bad. Because every time a married man get a bit of shit, they always don't want a single male on the bus. I'm gonna tell y'all some bullshit one day, right? This fuck nigga was fucking with this pregnant girl. Now he was fucking with a pregnant girl. This girl had to be like six months pregnant. He married, having sex with a, a girl that was six months. One even his motherfucking baby. One even his baby. This fuck nigga, call me up. Yo, Jay, man. Um. Uh, hold on one second. One second. I got to. Uh, gotta get this ticket together. Oh man, what my ticket? What my ticket? What my ticket? I know I'm going on 14, but I can't find my ticket. Fourteen. 
All right. Uh, I can't find my ticket, but gotta be around here somewhere. But like I said, so what he was doing was he was having sex with this girl. She had to be like six months pregnant. So he said, yo, man, yo, man, check this out, man. My wife about to call your phone. So I'm like, my wife about to call my phone for what? Nah, 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 nah. She about to call your phone. So when she called your phone, you tell her that was you. Now, see, that's how, that's what a lot of, a lot of married men slash fuck niggas be doing. They love to put you on the spot when they out there fucking around like that. So what he did was, he said, me call your phone. He said, I'm a, my wife gonna call your phone. So his wife called the phone. She was like, hey, Jay, what's up? I said, hey, what's going on? She was like, man, she one question. I don't even want you to lie for this thing. I want you to tell the truth. It's all right, go ahead and tell me. She said, is your name, is your name Kareem? I said, my name ain't no damn Kareem. So she said, oh, so that, that wasn't you. So I said, nah, that wasn't me. Cause now mind you, he never told me. He told me seconds before it went down. So I said, nah, my name ain't Kareem. I don't even know what that is. So she said, all right, thank you. She told that fuck nigga, yo, you know what's gonna happen? Don't say shit. When you get your ass home and handle this shit. So she hangs up. He's gonna say, yo, man, that's fucked up, man. Why ain't you tell my wife that was you? Why ain't you tell me you? Well, first of all, I ain't had to tell that was me. I didn't marry your wife. You did, bro. You did. You got you got kids by the motherfucker. I ain't got no kids by them. So why the fuck should I sit there and take the fall for you? Because you called me seconds. You asked me seconds before she called you. And that's the shit about married men. Married men love to make single males look like shit. That's why when you come around and marry a married woman, when you come around their family, she don't trust you, she don't like you. Because you don't already kick dirt in your motherfucking face, putting all the weight on you. If a married man can put some weight on you like that, that motherfucker snitch on you like that. That motherfucker turn state on you like that. Watch out for these married niggas out here trying to throw your ass under the bus because they out here tricking harder than you. Yes, married men trick harder than single males. Who you think is up in the motherfucking go-go bars tricking married men? Married men trick they ass to fuck off. That's all they do is trick. That's all they do is trick. So watch out. So boys and you brothers out there, y'all got friends that's married, stop taking a fall for them suck ass niggas, man. Too old for that shit. Niggas out there and shit, they out there messing around and screwing everything, walking. Don't take the fall for that shit, bro. Believe me, don't take the fall for that. But you take the fall for that, you gonna get burned at the end. So down. Don't do that, bro. Here is my paper. Ass. But that's how life is out here, man. And same thing for. Same thing for the yeah, same thing for the, the married females. You females out there married, y'all out there married, and shit don't work out, but you living with your man. Then you run around here acting like you want these men to be 100% honest with you, to be one to you. You living with your man, y'all living together, but you out here trying to get a side nigga. I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna tell y'all niggas something right now. If you niggas out there dealing with a woman and she married, I'm, a I'm about to push y'all, I'm gonna teach y'all some game. If you niggas out there dealing with a woman and she married, she living with her man, she using her man car to come see you, she using her man car to take you out and finance and, and put food in your motherfucking belly. Listen, you make that motherfucker take care of the bill. You make her take care of you. I'm only, I'm only giving you niggas game, man. If y'all messing with a married woman, listen. Not all women, married women ain't like that. If she married and she's single and she's separated, that's cool. But if you dealing with a married woman and she home and she living with a man, I'm about to go crazy looking for my damn ticket in the damn truck. You make her front the bill. You shouldn't have to pay for a damn thing if you dealing with a married woman you hear me? You shouldn't have to deal with and pay for shit if you dealing with a married woman that's home living with her husband. You shouldn't have to do that. There you go. Now, see that shit, man? See that? I'm sitting here tripping, but I gotta go get in my slot. Like I said, take key to that. Y'all should not, you be a fool. 
You'll be a fool if you fucking with a married woman living home with her man. And she take it from her man and her kids. Just to, she take it from her man and her kids. Just to fuck with you. Then you make her pay for your shit. You make her pay everything, your rent, your car note. You make her finance everything. At the end of the motherfucking day, what she doing is fucking wrong. So you make her pay for that shit. Stop acting all like a sucking shit because you, you mess with a married woman. You thinking it's some good pussy. There ain't no good pussy, no good pussy. It's how the woman going to work it what makes it good. She laying it ain't good. If a woman laying on her ass and on her back, that shit ain't good. That shit garbage. You make her work. You sweat, you sweat the boots off her motherfucking ass. You hear me? So stop acting like suckers out there, man. She want to be with you, you make her take care of that shit. You make her take care of that shit. Now that may sound like some sucker shit, like, oh, but why he gotta, why he gotta say that? Why he gotta put that out there like that? Nah, I'm only being honest, man. I'm only being honest because if you was married fucking the side, if you was married fucking the side chick, the side chick gonna make you do the same thing, so you make that woman do the same thing. Man. Nah, don't fall less for nothing, man. You put your life on the line. And a lot of you dudes out there having, messing with these married men, a lot of you females messing with these married men, or you dudes messing with these married females, first of all, you're putting your life on the line. Because at any given day, her husband catch your motherfucking ass. And if that nigga crazy nigga, they gonna put, that nigga gonna put, put some heat up in you. Same thing with the females. You got females out there who put heat in the nigga ass. When I mean heat, put a slug to the dome out there messing around. So y'all be careful out there, man. Y'all be careful. You know, because... Being a happy married bachelor, female or man, shit ain't cool, man. Shit ain't cool. You ain't got to compete with me. You know, you ain't competing. I'm too old for that bullshit. Man. Too old for that. It ain't like how I used to be. Right now, I'm just tired and motherfucker. See bags in my eyes, man. I'm black ass tired as hell. So, all that out there, I act like it's all good. Hey, it, ain't, it ain't all good when you get caught in somebody's house with your pants down. It ain't all good, bro. It ain't all good. Same thing with your sisters. You know. But y'all be careful out there. That's all I wanted to say. Happy married bachelors. Be easy with that shit, man. Be easy with that shit. If you get caught slipping, your blood gonna be dripping. Believe that shit. So, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Support about help brother out. You know, like I said, in the video, my brother Gus, praying for you, bro. Like I said, if you can just do some, get yourself a jump rope, jumping jacks, some push-ups, some pull-ups, even if you got a jog in place, you know, do me a favor, man. I know you don't, you start juicing, man. Tell your wife, if your wife watching this video, tell your wife to go buy you a juicer. And buy us a juicer and a blender. You know, do the carrots. Do the tangerine. I do the carrots, tangerine oranges. I do the strawberry, the wild berries, the, the blackberries. I do tomatoes. I do um, like all the hard, solid veggies. You put that in the juicer. When it comes down to small berries, you put that in the blender. So juice first. Then put do the neutral blender, blend the berries and put that in the juicer and then blend that all up. You know, take care of yourself out there, Gus, man. Yo, what up, man? Same thing here, man. Oh, hey, all the way by the water and shit, man. Same thing, bro. So, Gus, if you watching this video, man, take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself, Gus. Praying for you, man. Like I said, you know, he made it through, he made it through all the housing projects. Now from Prince Street, Bassettes, Hayes Homes, Stella Rice, 17th Avenue, you know, North North, you know, 8th Street. We can make it through the hood, you can make it through this virus shit. You know, we can beat the hood and become successful later on. We can dance so beat the virus. Cause say, if North can shut us down, you went from North to the Bronx and the North and the Bronx and shut you down. Don't let this virus beat you, Gus. I love you, bro. Be, a, be easy out there, man. Take care of yourself. Anything you need, you call me, man. I got you, Gus. I got you. I love you, man. You're my brother, man. All right? Take care of yourself. I want all of y'all to take care of yourself. But you can beat this shit. One thing you can't do is keep black people down. 
We gonna dare beat this shit, alright? I'll talk to y'all later. Peace, one love. Take care of yourself. Like, subscribe. Support a button. Alright? Take it easy.